Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome to our channel. This video is part of module 6 on performance testing tools. If you are new here or missed the previous videos, I recommend watching them first to ensure a comprehensive understanding before continuing with this one. In this video, I will guide you through a seamless JMeter installation process on Windows and Mac platforms. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, let's quickly understand the prerequisites required for installing JMeter. JMeter is a 100% Java application and should run correctly on any system that has a compliant Java implementation. So, you should have at least Java 8 or higher version running on your system for the latest JMeter version. Okay. Although you can use a JRE, nothing but Java runtime environment, it is better to install a Java development kit because JMeter needs key tool utility from JDK for recording HTTPS traffic. Now, let's quickly go through the installation steps on Windows platform. First, we need to download the latest JMeter archive from Apache JMeter official website. Then, we need to extract the downloaded zip package and copy it to the required folder and finally we need to set up the environment variable this is an optional step and we still can run the jmeter without this step okay now by following these steps let's quickly install jmeter on windows so before installing jmeter the first step is to verify whether we have java installed on this windows system or not because without java we cannot run the jmeter so to verify java click on the search button and type cmd which will show the results related to the cmd so from the results click on the command prompt tab which will open the command prompt here you can type java hyphen hyphen version and then press enter so if java is already installed then it will show the installed version otherwise it will show some error message so let's press enter here it is telling that java is not recognized as an internal or external command that means java is not installed on this windows system so first we need to download and install the java and then only we need to install jmeter if java is already installed on your system then you can skip the java installation step and then proceed with the jmeter installation okay so to download the java open the chrome browser and then type oracle java download from the search results go to the oracle official website click on the java downloads link so in this downloads page we can see that java 21 and java 17 available now so let's try to install the latest version which is java 21 if you scroll a little bit down here we can see the download links for different operating systems like linux mac os and windows since it is a windows system so click on the x64 installer link okay so that will download the x64 installer package it may take a minute to download that package once it is downloaded we will get some message saying that it is done so by default any package that we are downloading from any website will download it to the downloads folder so open the windows explorer and go to downloads folder so here we can see that jdk 21 windows x64 bin exe file so to install the java we just need to double click on this package first it will ask you some confirmation you can click yes and then it will show the setup wizard so the first screen it is telling the welcome message so here we don't need to do anything Thing, just click on the next button and then it is asking the confirmation about where exactly we want java to be installed so it is also suggesting some default path let's go with the default path okay if you want to install java into different directory you can click change and give the specified path but and i want to keep the java in the default location which is c program files java and jdk-21 okay and then click next so it will try to copy all the required files and then we'll try to install the java so once the installation is completed it will give us this message that java has been successfully installed so you can close this so after installation we also need to set the environment variable so to set the environment variables again click on the search type environment and from the result click on the edit the system environment variables and system properties under advanced tab click on the environment variables button so here we have two sections user variables and system variables look for path under system variables and double click so here we need to add the java executable path so go to windows explorer go to the path where we have java installed in my case it is under program files java jdk 21 bin so java executable will be available under bin folder so copy the path and then go back to the edit environment variable window click new and then paste the path after that click ok and click ok and here also click ok close the command prompt and then try to reopen the command prompt okay so again type cmd in the search click the command prompt app so now when you type java hyphen hyphen version it will show you the installed version so we have java 21 installed so the java installation part is completed so the next step is to download the jmeter archive from apache jmeter official website so go to browser again and then type apache jmeter download from the search results go to the apache jmeter official website click on the download apache jmeter link so in the apache jmeter official website you know go to the binary section and then click on the apache jmeter 5.6.2 zip package so since it is a windows system we need to download the zip package so just click on that link again 
it will try to download the zip archive into our downloads folder it may take a minute so once the download is completed it, it will give you the confirmation so again go to the downloads folder the download is completed the second step is we need to extract the package so right click on that and then click extract all here it is asking us to specify the destination folder you can keep it in the same downloads folders but it is always better to organize the softwares properly so i have a softwares folder created in d drive so i will extract the apache jmeter into that softwares folder okay so i'm clicking on the browse go to d and then softwares so i want apache jmeter to be extracted in this folder okay click extract again if you want to keep it on the same folder you don't need to click browse and everything you can simply just click next so that will try to extract all the jmeter files into the downloads folder okay so it may take a minute to extract everything so once the extraction is done it will open the folder so click on the apache jmeter so we can see all the different directories and files so with this we have completed downloading the apache jmeter from the official website and then extracted that package into our system okay we also need to set up the environment variable which i told you as an optional step to understand the reason for setting up let's quickly open the command prompt again so type cmd and then open the command prompt so here you can type jmeter hyphen hyphen version and then press enter now windows system is telling that jmeter is not recognized even though we have jmeter available in our windows system still it is unable to recognize that jmeter command so that is why we need to specify this jmeter executable path in the environment variable section so that system can understand so whatever the path you are if you type jmeter it will understand we are trying to execute these jmeter commands okay so let's set it up the environment variable for jmeter also so go to the search type environment and then click on the edit the system environment variables in system properties advanced tab click environment variables again look for path under system variables and try to copy the jmeter executable here so in my case the jmeter executable is available in d software apache jmeter and bin so let's copy the entire path and then click on the new in the edit environment variable window and then paste the path after that click ok here and then ok again and then ok in system properties as well now let's try to reopen the command prompt and type jmeter hyphen hyphen version since we set it up the environment variable it should recognize the command now so it will show you the apache jmeter version see here we have apache jmeter 5.6.2 is installed on this windows system this is the advantage of setting up the environment variable so to open the jmeter there are multiple ways to do that one way is since we set it up the environment variable we can run directly jmeter dot bat command here which will open the jmeter this is one way to open the jmeter the another way is you can go to the bin folder under apache jmeter and then look for windows jmeter batch file so this is the jmeter dot bat file double click it will open the apache jmeter in this screen only we are going to develop the scripts execute the scenarios and also analyze the test results okay since we are going to work on this again and again it will be better to create a shortcut of this batch file in our desktop so that we don't need to open always d softwares and apache jmeter we can simply click on that file it will open the jmeter so to create the shortcut just right click on the jmeter windows batch file show more options and then go to send to and then select the desktop create shortcut so it basically creates a shortcut on our desktop so so here see it creates a jmeter shortcut since we have shortcuts whenever we want to open the jmeter we just need to click on that so it will open the jmeter for us okay so with this we have completed the jmeter setup on windows next let's quickly go through the process of installing jmeter on mac platform first we need to open the terminal then execute the brew install jmeter command before executing the command please make sure that homebrew is already installed on your mac now by following these steps let's quickly install jmeter on mac so installing jmeter on mac platform is pretty straightforward it's just two step process so the first step is to open the terminal so to open the terminal you can press the command and space bar which will bring the spotlight set here you can type the word terminal so it will show you the terminal utility so double click on the terminal utility so before we proceed any further first we need to make sure that we have java installed on this mac because that is a prerequisite for jmeter right so to verify whether we have java installed or not so we need to type the command java hyphen hyphen version if java is already installed it will show the installed version otherwise it will show some error message so let's press enter so here it is telling me that java 21 version is already installed on this mac so we are good from that perspective the next step is we need to install jmeter so installing jmeter can be done in two ways one we need to download the archive from apache jmeter official website and then extract it on a required folder or we can use the brew package manager which will take care of downloading and installing it on this laptop
program so we will do the second method which is very simple it's just one command we need to type okay so type brew install jmeter and then press enter so the package manager will try to download the jmeter and then it will install it in this mac okay it's already done now if you type jmeter and then press enter it will try to open the jmeter so here if you see it has installed the latest version which is 5.6.2 so this is the current version of jmeter so this is the way we can install jmeter on mac platform okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for staying till the end and supporting me i hope you understand the installation process explained in this video in case anything is not clear or requires more detailed information please feel free to mention it in the comment section all the video notes have been uploaded in github and you can find the link in the description if you are new to our channel please consider subscribing and also like and share this video so that others will also get benefited i will see you with the next video in this module until then take care stay safe and keep learning